Just like last year, the year before that, and probably also the year before that, the upcoming year will be absolutely insane when it comes to great games. Therefore, we have tried to select 20 of the best or most promising games and uh, are ready to present them to you right here. The most common complaint about Final Fantasy XIII was that it took almost 20 hours to unlock itself and really show its colors. That was particularly bad because the game was actually really good, but just required huge loads of dedication from the players. The new game promises to fix that, and when the new story that uh, sees Lightning gone missing and you taking the part of her sister looking for her, a new, big and much better adventure is promised. In the sequel to The Darkness, Jack Hestagato is once again back to literally rip his opponents apart. The new game looks to be excessively brutal and just violent and, and also really good looking. Also, a new co-op campaign has been added to the game functioning as a completely separate story, so look out for it. We can all agree that uh, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim was a really impressive game, but some of us found the combat severely lacking, to say the least. Therefore, The Kingdoms of Amalur uh, Reckoning looks to be the game for all of us that really couldn't get into Skyrim. It looks to be an absolutely uh, spectacular role-playing game with tons of skills, tons of characters, tons of story, but also an action-inspired fighting system that is kind of reminiscent of the God of War series. EA has finally decided to resurrect the SSX series, and while that decision has made a lot of us really happy, the first showing of it really wasn't that good. Darker tone and more serious styling just doesn't suit the SSX series, and therefore we are quite happy that since then the tone of the whole game has been changed and fun seems to be in focus again. It might not be a strategy game anymore, but taking the Syndicate series to the FPS world really doesn't seem that bad a decision when you see what Star Wars has done with the game. Futuristic dark world where you're able to hack into probably most of your enemies and just control them looks really really good and really original. Also should make for some fun multiplayer matches. When it comes to dungeon crawling it just doesn't get any better than the Diablo series and the newest addition to the series, the third one, actually looks to have been worth uh, the wait of more than 10 years. Blizzard knows something about making sweet, delicious loot, cool carriages and a balanced gameplay and that is one of the reasons or several of the reasons why we just can't wait for Diablo 3. The conclusion to uh, Bioware's sensational science fiction trilogy looks to be the best of all the series so far, combining the story of the first game with the action from the sequel. Also Bioware has polished up its tech, it's uh, added customization when it comes to weapons and it's even added a new co-op campaign that we're still kind of unsure about. Nonetheless, this looks to be the ending that we have all been waiting for since starting the trilogy. While a new Max Payne game would have been enough to get us excited, the addition of Rockstar as a developer just makes us believe that this will actually be the best game in the series. Insane animation, a really cool story and just the production values that Rockstar brings to every game makes us hugely excited for Max Payne 3. The original Borderlands came out of almost nowhere and cemented itself as one of the best dungeon crawlers, especially on the consoles. That of course means that we're very excited for the sequel, but talk of more diversified weapons and enemies sure doesn't make the waiting time any shorter. We absolutely love the Rayman Origins on uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and therefore cannot wait to be able to bring it with us on the go. Even though the PlayStation Vita version will be like a multiplayer, the visuals, the content and everything else should be pretty much the same and should look really good on the beautiful screen of the console. Those were the first 10 games from our list and if you want to see the rest, make sure to watch part 2 as well.